Welcome to the show. Let's talk to Mike Van Dorken. He is the Head of Research at Ascendo Markets. Morning to you, Mike. Good morning. Right, let's kick off with IAG, you've said a daily chart. Um, what are your thoughts, sir? It's an hourly chart, actually. We're much shorter term here. I beg your pardon, an hourly chart. Just six weeks uh, worth of trading here. We've had a positive reaction or read across from the EasyJet results this morning, which yep. were very much in line, as, as, uh, as, as Matt said earlier, benefiting from, unfortunately, the demise of the likes of Monarch and um, you know, reduced capacity in the industry as they're putting on. Plus, if you think back to last week from the, uh, from the air show, we had big, big orders from some of the even uh, cost uh, budget airlines from, uh, for the likes of Airbus and Boeing. So it's a pretty positive message from the industry. And from a technical standpoint, We've been bullish uh, just just at the end of last week on IAG from that bounce at 600. Uh, a load of technical signals here. The RSI is holding in the upper half, which is a bullish signal. It was a bullish double bottom reversal from 580 that got us back above 595. Then now we've broken back above what is the 100 hour moving average there. I know it is short term, but it adds to the weight of evidence. And what we could see there, if I could type correctly, would be that it's a bullish inverse head and shoulders <laughs> reversal, which would be worth uh, in the region of uh, 25 pence there, which could take us back to, you know, 640 or perhaps the highs of early November. So in terms of 25 pence upside on a textbook mm. Mm. bullish break to the upside, where would you have your stop loss and what's interesting stop losses? Right. Well, at the moment, hence why I've put the, the upside there. It's around 6.4%. Um, I mean, I would be looking for a stop loss. I mean, I mean, it could be very aggressive and come below where we're sitting at the moment, 606, but the likelihood of being whipped out is very high. Do you come back to 600, maybe a shade below? It's still only 6%. 6 uh, pence, which basically. is only one percent, yeah. which gives you a risk reward of six, which yeah. is, I mean, fantastic, but it's still maybe unnecessarily big. I would probably be going below that most recent support from last week, around five nine five, uh, to give yourself at least a pullback to six hundred, the rising support, perhaps a shade lower, and then give yourself uh, the low of last week as well. If it gets below that, you'd probably be expecting it to pull all the way back to five eighty anyway. Mike, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.